Another mass shooting in America. This time it's in some small city in Maine. 40 year old guy walks into a bowling alley where kids is having a tournament and shoots up the place with a high power rifle. Goes down the road four miles, shoots up a bar and grill. Now it's one guy that says, oh, he was about 10, 15 feet away from me. I was putting on my bowling shoes. I was, he also 40, you know, looked soft as hell. Say, so, yeah, he was a uh, few feet behind me. As soon as I heard the first gunshot, oh, I ran and jumped in the, uh, the down in the bowling pins and hit there until the police came. Oh, soft ass motherfucker right there. And see, this is the problem with America because I know if I would have walked in there, no matter how good I looked, they would have looked me up and down and made sure I was cool and who I was with and everything. They let a 40-year-old man come into the place and shoot up everything. Nobody do nothing. He's still at large at this time, man. This shit crazy. And they know they all know who he is. So, already, man, you got to look at the situation, man. You know what I'm saying? Most of these type of crimes is it's the same MO, man. It's the same identity for these people. And they act like they can't get to the bottom of these things. Um, so next, right? You know, they talk to the man's family, right? And his sister-in-law says, oh, he been hearing voices. But he just joined the National Guard, I mean, the Army Reserve in 2022. As a gun, as a firearm specialist. whoop de do. You see what I'm saying, man? It's always the same M.O. It's always the same type of person that has an obsession with guns that's really a coward in society and will get mad. And now he said he's put, they, they making excuses for him, and I hate how the media spin it too. They always immediately, if this guy is a certain color, they go to immediately trying to cover up for him. 18 people dead and most of them kids. All, all the grown white men ran. All the I'm tough super American. All we gotta overthrow the government, motherfuckers ran, man. It's a bunch of kids, man, and them bodies they can't tell nobody about, and they keep it secrets. So I guess he was turned into a crazy house. They had reported him, and he had to go to a clinic. Prior to this happening, you probably ain't seen this information because it's a whole bunch of covering up. They trying to slide it out easily because, you know, that's how they do when it's one of them, man. It's just not fair, man. And it's sad because we can stop this type of thing if we just play fair. I mean, the signs were there. So now the family is, I don't know, making excuses for him. Oh, he was a really good guy until lately. Bruh, somebody who kill a kid always had it in him. Now, imagine if black men, all the struggles we go through on a daily, for decades, for hundreds of years, with proof. And we ain't never decided one day to just say, you know what, I ain't having it today. They saying he heard people talking about him. Now, one thing, man, I'm only online for is because I notice... The better I do, the more critical those type of people become of me. I'm sure he has a history of violent ideas he's expressed. This ain't his first time he's came with these things. And because he's killed 18 people now and the number's going up, another 13 injured. Oh, he was letting everybody have it. And now he, they saying he came from out of nowhere. It's mental health. He's been going through something lately. Oh, everybody's been talking about him. I'm going to tell you who's been talking about him who ain't taking no accountability. The fucking family. So if y'all was telling him, oh, when you hearing things and those hearing things, he thinking people talking about him. He, he, ha, ha, bro. In the world we living in. In the world we living in, especially how critical 
the superior, the, the, the controlling culture is. Can't nobody talk about him? He a 40-year-old man. And that's what they saying. He had a mental lapse and heard people talking about him. So he heard people talking about him at that at the uh, bowling alley and at that grill. Probably two places where people ain't we're wor really worried about you. And if you're a cornball, you're a cornball. You don't get to take it out on women, children, and kids, bruh. I'm just saying. But, yeah, they already spinning the story, and it's just sad, man. You know, this just happened. He's still at large. They saying, oh, we calling him on the phone, telling him to turn himself in. Okay, well, then y'all must know where he at. You see where the accountability stops at with these people? You know what I'm saying? And the bullshit begins when it's one of them. So, yeah, he's supposed to be some good guy. He just got into the Army Reserves, and nobody's seen that um, poor Robbie, you know, when they call the Brobbies, they poor Bob uh, was finna kill everybody with his miserable ass and all them guns he had in his stash and his passion for killing things and his lack of empathy for others. That's the biggest problem. When they raise with with, with privilege, it seems like it's always a, a lack of empathy with them. These are the type of people that treat their dogs better than they treat human beings. And now that he getting mad, he gonna go shoot up a bunch of kids. Was the kids talking about you? Is that what you see how the excuses be? Man, we gotta do something in this world where we see the evil for what it be. So then I be then my whole point with this is if he got reported earlier to the authorities, y'all should have took his guns. Man, trust me. Like, I know if I had any dirt or any situation like that on me, bro, they would put me under the penitentiary. But no, he got released even though he was making threats already saying he was going to do these things. He said when the, when the brother heard what he did, he drove straight home. Straight home. You know what that's called? The conscious of account of accountability. But yeah, man, I don't know, bro. You know, as this shit unfold, man, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think, man. I just think that, man, because, you know, they got they got somebody that look like them, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, this, this story is going to be spent a whole nother way. And now we have the right to get mad at people who, man, listen, my account stays flagged for people talking about me. <laughs> and there really ain't nothing to talk about with me. And it usually be y'all people, so it's a shame that y'all can't take it with somebody doing it back. And y'all can use that for a trigger to say mental health and lack of accountability. No. It's some cowards out here because we in a system that destroys real manhood now. All the punks get to hide behind guns. All the punks get to say, nah, my feelings hurt. And now... I got violent tendencies now, and it's wrong. Everybody got a right to feel how they feel, say what they want. If you don't like it, so what? If they was talking about you, they wasn't talking to you. So, now, now that's what they saying though. But I don't know if they were, if it was somebody else. Oh, they be tell bringing up his past, saying he a criminal. He 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 from a child this, from a child that, this that that, and everything else.